How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to talk and share some information about some new rear camera link plates that we have from Flashpoint RC, and also talk a little bit about rear roll center. So with the Mugen MBX-8R line of vehicles, we have currently two different rear hub plates. We have a what we call uh, zero or one dot, it's sometimes referred to, where this rear plate is, the outer camera link is the same height as our older stock hubs, so the E2131 rear hubs. The current option from Mugen is the three dot plate, which has three notches, and it raises this outer camera link three millimeters. Now, from Flashpoint, we have a two dot and also a four dot. So we have in between that one dot and three dot and also one plate that's even higher than the current three dot. So let's talk a little bit about what mm. it's changing when we change these plates. So when you're running the one dot that it's gonna give the car the lowest rear roll center went as far as the adjustment from the outside. As you raise this, it's also gonna raise the roll center. So what does that do? So lower roll center will typically roll slower, but also roll more. So the general theory is gonna be that the lower roll center is gonna give you a little bit more rear grip but sometimes that can feel a little bit numb. Um, like at the Nationals at Chico this year, I ran the one dots. It just kind of calmed the rear of the car down. It wasn't uh, quite as like sharp or crisp feeling, but because the track had a lot of grip, it just kind of calmed down the rear of the car. Now, typically at tracks like Thunder Alley, um, Palm Desert at the Drake Raceway, um, some of the smaller, tighter tracks, um, and tracks that kind of generate and get a little bit bumpy, I would typically run the three dot. So slightly higher roll center, the rear end doesn't roll as much, but when it does roll, it will roll a little bit faster. So that will make the rear of the car a little bit more crisp, sharp feeling, but something to consider that is also changing. It's not just simply the roll center is changing when moving this camera link up and down. You're also changing the amount of camber eyes that you have. And camber eyes is the amount of camber change that the tire will kind of uh, see or go through as it's going through the suspension travel. So if you're running the one dot lower roll center, it has less camber eyes, the tire is gonna stay more at the static camber, closer to what the you set the static camber at. Where when you go up, say you go all the way up to the four dot, it's gonna have higher roll center, but also it's gonna have the most amount of camber eyes. So as the suspension compresses, the amount of camber is gonna also increase. So when would you wanna have more camber eyes? And when would you wanna have higher and lower roll center? Um, so typically when the track gets bumpy, you want more camber eyes. You want, as the car starts to slide or hit bumps, you want it to have more camber eyes so it's able to kind of slide um, over those bumps without catching. So even though the one dot plate is gonna, in theory, give you slightly more rear grip because of the lower roll center. You would think that you would want to maybe free up or take away some of that grip and maybe run the higher plate. It depends on the, the rest of your setup, but typically for me with the MBX-8R buggy, when the grip is higher, I run the lower camber plate. When the grip is lower or if the track um, is a little bit tighter, has more bumps, I will run the higher plates. Again, 
keeps the rear of the car a little bit stiffer, allows it to kind of slide over the bumps. If you were to run these higher plates on a high grip track, the car may feel really aggressive or not roll enough, like entering or through the middle of the corner, and then almost want to flip because when it does then roll, it's gonna roll faster and more violently. So again, it, it will depend on the inner camber link position, um, but with these plates from Flashpoint, the two part numbers are FP2179 and FP2180. Um, they're just awesome tuning aids to have in your box. So again, we currently make the one dot and three dot. The two dot will be uh, exactly in between those two positions and the four dot will be slightly higher than the current three dot. Just like with the stock plates, these plates can be flipped. So if you wanna run a half hole shorter camber length, or say if you're in the middle and you wanna run a half hole longer, you can flip these plates so they do fit both directions, but the stock position would be to have the little notches towards the outside of the car. Um, again, just, just a great tuning option to have for both truck and buggy. They're fairly inexpensive and just really allow you to kind of tune the rear of your car. Um, again, lower will kind of calm down, make the rear end um, just kind of respond and react a little bit faster. The higher you go, the kind of sharper, crisper the car is going to be, the more mid-corner steering it's going to have and also be slightly better in bumpy conditions.